hydrogen extraction of crude metal methods of extraction the first four methods will be discussed in this video remaining methods in the later video first one is calcination calcination is a process of uh, heating of a ore below its melting point in the absence of air it is generally carried out in a reverberatory furnace it is a reverberatory furnace bottom part is called hearth in which ore is taken the fire box has fuel that produces heat the ore gets heated and impurities leave as hot gases example 1 limestone when this is calcinated these are the products magnesite mgco3 when this is heated in the absence of air means calcinated carbon dioxide gas escapes out roasting roasting is a process of heating of a ore in the excess presence of air it is generally carried out in reverberatory furnace or blast furnace let us see the differences between calcination and roasting calcination is a process of heating up ore in the absence of air but roasting is in the presence of air in excess presence of air the other difference is first one calcination is carried out in reverberatory furnace whilst roasting is carried out in any furnace zinc blend zns take excess oxygen then if you heat it what happens these are the products galena when this is roasted in the presence of oxygen we get pbo lithoch so2 gas escapes out the third one is smelting what is the principle in the smelting carbon reduction this is very important this is generally carried out in blast furnace this is a blast furnace see the bottom part that is maintained at 1300 degrees centigrade to 1500 degrees centigrade as you go up the temperature maintenance increases sorry decreases top part is maintained at low temperature bottom part is maintained at high temperature take coke in this when coke is taken this can be changed as co2 or co any one if carbon monoxide form then it changes fe2o3 to fe3o4 see the first reaction at 230 degree centigrade so fe3o4 is formed so fe2o3 changes into fe3o4 that can be changed into feo feo2 iron what is the reducing agent in the first three reactions on the top carbon monoxide in the blast furnace smelting involves very high temperatures so this is called pyrometallurgical process low electric positive metal are extracted by this process by using a suitable reagent reducing agent such as carbon monoxide ore is reduced to metal ore has impurity flux reacts with the impurity forming slag the same reaction i am repeating once again carbon monoxide is a good reducing agent in the blast furnace hematite fe2o3 coke when it reacts it forms iron the carbon monoxide formed in the first reaction reacts with the leftover fe2o3 to form iron also 
In this process, carbon dioxide escapes out. Understand that carbon monoxide is very good reducing agent in the blast furnace. The fifth process is self-reduction. Auto-reduction. Auto means what? Self-automobile. Self-mobile. No external reducing agent is required in the process. The ore itself acts like a reducing agent. The ore reduces the metallic oxide into metal. The best examples are copper and lead and also mercury. Let us take first copper. Cu2S. When this is oxidated, we get Cu2. But we want copper. How to get copper? Need not add any reducing acid. The ore itself reduces the Cu2 again into copper. So it is called self-reducing agent. The ore acts like a self-reducing agent. This is self-reduction. See the second example? Same. PBS changes into PBO. How to convert into PB? Same. The ore itself reduces the PBO metallic oxide into PB. Let us meet in the next class. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.